Welcome back to the 113th episode of a close combat last stand on and playthrough with the Germans in the Grand Campaign on Elite Difficulty. And well, once again we're here in Ravenstein and uh, Hellman is about ready to come and give us some support in this area. Which is going to be sweet, but that's next turn. So for now we're just going to... Yeah, we're just going to keep massacring, massacring Americans, I guess. Either way, let's see how what we do. Wait a minute, I'm going to revert that. Okay, no, it's good. Um, yeah, let's see. We'll uh, replace this rifle team here with a full one. Get another rifle team in. Or maybe a platoon HQ, who knows. And then a turtle cal and a rifle team. Something like that. Um, yeah. That should do the trick, I guess. And if we look at our own stuff here. Well, we're not getting more stuff in our reserves, that's for sure. Uh, speaking of reserves, what the hell do we have in our reserves? Yeah, not a tremendous amount of useful stuff. But we can, as per usual, get this uh, half-track <laughs> with us. Which probably the guy operating the MG is going to die. At least that is what has happened every other time. Um, oh, well, at least the last few times the, the situation has been like it is right now. And, well, I mean, we're just going to set up and do the same thing that we've done every single damn time. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we're going to keep doing, I guess, until next turn, when we finally do get some, well, some units coming in here so we can claim this and have a kind of crossfire across the river going, maybe start claiming some ground, but... The American teams are a lot stronger than our teams, and more numerous, both individual squads and number of squads, so... Uh, yeah, it's it's tough to push in on them, really. If we could get like a tank down or something, or just a worthwhile mechanized something, things could change fast, but um, currently that's just not where we're at, so... well. A continued massacre is the best bet for now. There's been a lot of mortars around here over the course of this game. That being said, let's get our mortar teams in position here to start raining down hell on the people on the railroad. And honestly, I think I'm just going to be happy with um, with uh, doing damage to whatever the heck is there, doing as you know, causing as many casualties as possible. And then going for a truce, right? We don't even need to advance anymore. Like, maybe we can take some points on the bridge or something. One or two. Like, we could maybe take this and then maybe that with our half-track. But tends to be uh, that's not the way it goes. Although I wish we could, but maybe we can. We'll see. Let's begin. Well, we're seeing a lot of enemies as per usual. And the massacre begins. I hope you are. These guys ain't looking too fresh either. Hey, one of you guys pick up the damn mouse that this guy died with and use that to shoot at these people since you can't reach them with the damn submachine guns. Actually, they should be able to reach them with the damn submachine guns. Yeah, I mean, he's suppressed, so, you know, it is just as per usual, basically. This whole thing is just as per usual, pretty much sums it up. I think I'm going to put that in the title of the video, just as per usual. Uh, that's pretty much what uh, Ravenstein is at this point. The fighting on this map has been endless. I'm pretty freaking tired of seeing this map. But hey, what can I do? I mean, I guess, I guess we could just pull out and let the Americans have it. But then they might not move out of here, and then we have to come in with only one victory location and start spreading out, and we just don't have the strength in our battle groups or the numbers to be doing that. I don't want to give up the ground that we've already gained. Also, why are we not slaughtering these guys a bit more, uh, you know, quickly here? Like, I would say, let's tear them a new one, and also, let's do it right now, please. 
into another battle really so yeah, these guys are shooting now oh, they hit something the mgs are kicking off i mean it just cause a bunch of casualties and um go for a truce that's pretty much the strategy i'm going for here right now Guess we put these guys on the fence and then waste their ammo on shots they don't really expect to hit. Took out the MG team there, or rifle MG team I should say. Ah, someone got this guy with a mouse that seems. Oh, it could just be timing. Could be an MG that got him. The MGs are spraying at all times, so I'm just like... Uh, you know, I'm kind of numb to it. Like the MG, I, I don't even notice the MG fire anymore. That's just like background noise at this point. <laughs> I don't even know. I do notice the rare sporadic rifle being fired though. Yeah, do you want to lose? No? Okay. I don't care, like they always have enough points and the endless reserves and they always have enough points to go in with a full freaking force again. So it's like, it doesn't matter how many teams I take out, they will just have them replaced. So, as soon as we can get a cruise, a truce, let's just get a truce, it doesn't really matter. I'll just, uh, yeah, have the offer available for them. Well, maybe not, because the thing is... Could be they accepted just as well about the slaughter one of the squads, which really is completely inconsequential whether we do or not, but um, yeah, it, it just feels better to do it, I guess. Now right, we're looking at ammo, 19 rounds in that MG, 181 there, 236, uh, 150, 300. Right, uh, the mortal teams are now pretty much in saving ammo territory. Where are these bullets, uh, are these shots coming out from? Right there, okay, you know, we're gonna mortar the shit out of that spot then. Let's see, was it here? Yeah, there. Oh, look at that. Oi, vey, three and one. Ah, that's good. Cannot complain about that. We might be able to make them uh, take that truce once we're done with these mortar shots. So. The truce is the goal. The sooner the better. Beautiful. Lovely. Oh, something over here. Let's see if we can hit more of that. We can. Oh, look at that. No, no, shoot the last. Are you seeking cover? You couldn't just shoot the last freaking round off first. Ah, uh, you know what, as I said, it's inconsequential whether we do kill more of the guys or not, so let's just do it this way. Um, battle debrief details. We had one guy get incapacitated, and it's just like, yeah, it was just the command team guy, so. One of my guys, I would say, is worth more than 50 of theirs at this point, so. Yeah, well, depending on where on the map we're talking. But yeah, I mean, as you can see here, campaign debrief. Uh, progress is better than historical counterparts, I would say so, I mean, um, seven days remaining, and just a few stragglers left, struggling a little bit with finishing these guys off, particularly due to the fact that these guys have a freaking Sherman, and we have no anti-tank capabilities on either of our battle groups, though, but either way, I mean, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I would appreciate it if you would leave a like on it, maybe even subscribe if you haven't already. It certainly helps my channel out, so... Well, with that being said, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.